couple weeks ago, Half Alive, a band we absolutely love here on the channel, announced they're putting out a new album on November 15th called Persona. And in conjunction with that announcement, we got the first single, Sophie's House, which many people love. I've had many people tell me to check it out, which I planned on. Then I got extremely busy and lazy. <laughs> and since then, they put out another single yesterday called Automatic. And since I haven't checked out Sophie's House, I haven't checked out Automatic, apparently Half-Life said this is a follow-up to Sophie's House, let's do a double feature, shall we? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this, how's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today, hope your day's going well, and hope it continues to go well. In the description box below, I'll link to my full album reaction of Half-Life's last album, Conditions of a Punk, an album I absolutely love, and I've been slowly connecting to more and more with as the days goes on. Love when that happens, and hey, if you enjoy this type of content, maybe consider donating to the channel's Ko-Fi, link down in the description box below. Buy the boy coffee, keep the boys saying cuz oh boy in this time in life the boy needs it cuz he's 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 busy at work anyway <laughs> anyway here is Sophie's house and automatic I just woke up but here we go and here we go okay we're warming up do your stretches, everyone. Get ready. I mean, they're probably getting ready to dance. It's half alive, of course. They're gonna be a dancey. I love how twisted this is getting. <laughs> like, it's just ramping up. I love the bass tone so far. The, I know I should probably continue, but that bass tone, it's very uh, Tame Impala-esque. That's the first thing I thought of when I heard the first couple notes there. Absolutely love all of Half Alive's sounds, but the bass tone is so good here. Get off your phone, or you're supposed to be practicing. Yeah, that right there, that little bit of ear candy in the the left though. <laughs> that uh, I love. I live for stuff like that. Also, loving the vocals, the delivery of them. Falsettos and all the layering of synths and stuff. And a funk guitar too. Good. Oh, that was a that's a fun little melody there. The little Catching on the ceiling. Kind of reminds me of Forest by 21 Pilots in a way. I'll oh, scream, you scream, scream because you're terrified. I just woke up. Forgive me, 21 Pilot fans. Like something childlike about it that I appreciate. Again, that bass tone. All the layering synths. I appreciate that. Do that, do that, do that, do that keyboard. Just I really like the sense of vibe. Enjoy. 
Although I can't stop listening to just the bass. So by far, that's probably my favorite part about the song is just how well the bass sounds. Of course, the drums sound great. Same time, I appreciate uh, noticed how good the bass sounds. Of course, the hi-hat sound of the drummer here. I should know everyone's names by now. I'm kind of embarrassed that I don't because I do love Half Alive. But it's been a bit. I'm loving this guitar tone we're getting here also. Like, it's super funky. I, I wanted, like, vibrato pedal in there some, somewhere. And that's such a cool strat. That's such a cool Stratocaster. Ooh, saxophone, okay. Ooh. I didn't know I needed a saxophone in my half-life. What? That was a good bridge. I just love how it's like a bit more free flowing compared to the rest of the song. So good. Of course, the dancing in the video is great as well. As someone who has been described to dance like a bear from my high school musical days, I appreciate this. Okay. And there's the thing. There's the thing. So... Leading up to this video, Half-Alive was sending out text messages to people, which I forget what service they use. I'm going to pull it up on the phone. But they would send uh, clips where you could download and stuff like that would pop up. Where are you, Half-Alive? So yeah, back in September, Half-Alive sent two text messages that took you to drive links and it'll take you to downloads, to which one of them was of these creatures there. Persona, more like fursona. Am I right, kids? But <laughs> I remember not realizing a download this, going through my gallery and being a bit creeped out by what in the world was that? Who hacked my phone? So, all fun. But Sophie's house, so far, so good. Absolutely love it. I don't know what those creatures are that appeared at the end with the little uh, Grover monster sort of deal but maybe we'll find answers in our next song automatic this here we go okay already liking the drums i like how the keys are pans like just like a little Going back and forth sort of deal. That's one of the things, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh boy. Before we go on, I love the the vocal melody contrast here, just the rhythm base of it. How uh, this one's a bit more da 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 da, -da compared to the last one. It's a bit more driving, vo uh, vocal rhythmically wise. I like that.
heavy i was not expecting like that kind of overdriven fuzz tone from half-life but i do appreciate and enjoy that always love for those little surprises I love how everyone half live also like does multiple instruments. Like it's great. Except for our drummer, he just sticks on drums. Which I that's fine. That's learning to be human. Yeah, I enjoy this. I think I enjoy this slightly more than the last one, only because I am a I'm a guitar player. I enjoy the little heavy sections of things. So I enjoy enjoy this one. So I love them both though. Me too, buddy. Me too. I relate to this dude. Oh, I found love. Oh, thank you. Also, pretty. I impress uh, how they. See out of there, both of our people. Ooh. Ooh, but the guitar solo. Right. Yeah, it's good guitar show. It's a really cool guitar show. Like, isolated, I don't know if I would like how heavy and fuzzy this guitar tone is, but in context of this song, it works so well, and I love that guitar solo-wise. It's like a using a... At times, it sounds like uh, we're using a whammy pedal, which is cool. But we continue on for the last little bit of the song. That was the last little bit of the song. Now we're in the desert. Good song! It was a great, good, good song, but I'm curious now with the story. What in the world is ha- what's- what's a happening? What's the buzz? Tell me what's a happening. Okay, no, we're just walking into the- we're walking into the distance. That's fine, let the ad play. But hey, so far, both those really good songs. So far, two out of- two bangers so far. Uh, yeah, I cannot wait for Persona next month. I'm gonna try to do a full album reaction, put that on YouTube like I did for Conditions of a Punk. Hopefully, the YouTube overlords let me have this, because they don't let me have a lot of things here anymore. But, all fun. But yeah, so far, really, really good songs. I'm gonna, I have a musical this week, but I kind of want to learn that guitar solo in Automatic. Really good. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of these songs. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm gonna go eat my breakfast because it is Saturday morning. I'm gonna see you all later. Goodbye. And then, more importantly, have a good day. See ya in the next one because I already said see you later. I'm bad at my outros. I'm bad at YouTube in general. Bye.